Hey, Rob Link here. We're in the demo room here with John Martinzik of Forest Scientific. In just a minute, we are going to do um, uh, demonstrations on both the CNC plasma and the CNC routers. And then we're going to talk about the price point of each machine and how they might fit into your program. So this is the Forest Scientific uh, educational product lineup. We manufacture machines ranging anywhere from about $5,000 to $250,000. Uh, this is towards the lower end of that range, more entry level for a full size machine. This is a Fabot 4x4 CNC router. And it has uh, the wooden tabletop with aluminum T-slots, comes with clamping, complete with a router, has the dust hood, the computer software, it's a complete turnkey package. So when this is purchased, it comes fully assembled just like this. We bring it in and provide inside delivery so it gets into your classroom, teach you how to run it, so that way you can have success from day one. Uh, anything else that's in this product range is typically a kit that once you, re you receive all of the boxes of material, you may have a machine in two weeks. With Forest Scientific, you actually have a machine from day one that's ready to actually make parts. So this is the entry level Fabot series CNC router. From there, we go up to the Titan. And all of these machines can have various types of tabletops. This one's showing an aluminum T-slot table. So this is a great uh, construction, especially if you're making robotics parts and things, using it more as a milling machine. Uh, they can also have uh, various spindles. So this one has a three and a quarter horsepower router on it. Uh, it may come, uh, it comes standard with a uh, one and, uh, I believe a one and a quarter horsepower router. It can also have a high frequency spindle. We have, uh, so it can go anywhere from one and a quarter up to 10 horsepower on this machine. And if you're using the five or 10 horse, it's ideal for cutting steel and aluminum for making those robotics pieces. Um, they all work the same way. All of our machines use industry standard GNM codes, so you can draw something in any CAD CAM package capable of generating GNM codes. So that's Fusion 360, uh, Inventor, Mastercam, Enroute, VCarve Pro, any major CAD CAM package capable of generating GNM codes is compatible with our machines. And um, again, it's a complete turnkey package, including the computer. You have an e-stop button. Uh, it's fully assembled, so all we have to do when it arrives is plug in the power. The next series up from the Titan is the Maker Fab. Now, this one is a converter table, but it's the same construction as the Maker Fab router, except for the Maker Fab router doesn't have the built in water table for the plasma cutting part of it. So, when it's the converter table, it's like a Maker Fab plasma and a Maker Fab router, and it has a table that comes off so that we can do both functions on it. This is a very unique product. There are no other machines in existence that are capable of doing both products well because this has a completely sealable water uh, table for doing the wood routing and a way of actually clamping everything down. Then when you remove the wooden table for uh, routing, you expose the water table. Uh, the construction though is uh, steel and um, the aluminum bridge to make it light enough for fast moving turns and speeds and not see any uh, hesitancy in your cut. The uh, next level up is the HS series. The HS series, we were just cutting out some demos. Um, all of these come standard with a dust hood. Uh, we've took it off in order to do some better videos. This one includes the vacuum, it, well, is, has the optional vacuum table system on it. So when we turn on the vacuum, we're able to suck this three quarter inch MDF down to the half inch MDF and we're able to cut out our part. We just brought in a part from Google Images uh, to make uh, the LCAD that's on the next on the machine right here and um, we're able to make it. Okay, we're demoing the HS router. Uh, HS means hybrid servo, so this is a closed loop hybrid servo system. It's the best of a servo, the best of a stepper. It, most servos aren't good at running at slow speeds, and most, serv and most steppers aren't as good at running at high speeds. 
This actually has a combined hybrid technology that combines both worlds so that it, when it's at a slow speed, it acts more like a stepper and has the high precision of, of a stepping unit, and it has the high speed uh, precision of a servo unit as it gets up to the higher speed. So it's, it's a, the best combination of both worlds. And this unit has a uh, vacuum cable system, so when we turn on the vacuum, the MDF board that's on the top will simply suck right down and we can cut all the way through our part and it will not move. Uh, if we're doing really small parts, we may have to do some special fixturing, but most things that you're doing in cheap goods, uh, you will require no fixturing. So if you're going to make a cabinet, you're going to make uh, um, other types of furniture, it, you have almost no fixturing and get or work uh, for preparation to go hold it in place. Uh, this one also has the optional high frequency spindle, so it's very quiet as well. There's a little bit of the sound, the, actually the cutting of the tool, removing the materials louder than the actual sound of the motor running. This one also has the optional jog pennant. So this MPG jog pennant, I can turn the knob and the machine moves. And I can select which axis, so X or Y, Z, whichever. I can get it right to where I want to be. I can also start the machine just by hitting the start button. Do all my controls right from here, as well as stop it. So this is a really nice handy tool. Or we can use the uh, jog features that are just on the screen. So all of the same features for moving it X, Y, and Z, uh, I can click here to do it, start my program, and so forth. We're going to do a simple deer, or actually an elk head, that I found on Google Images. And so I just uh, import it into NRoute and do a simple raster convector conversion. So that the cameras could see what's being done, we removed the dust hood. Uh, this dust hood just bolts right up to the bottom of the machine. And with that, all of this dust that came off the machine would have been collected, as this would be connected to a four-inch dust collector.